Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Uh, last time we, oops, last time we were uh, clearing out the Bravel Gates, so the Bravel Gag will help us. This is a time-honored tradition of of Elder Scrolls, where uh, really any game with a really big world like this, where it's like, hey, just go talk to everyone. Everyone that you've everyone that you've met, every town that you've been to, go there. And and be like, hey, help me out. Okay, I'm looking for a place to repair my. Uh, uh, my gear, because it is busted up immensely. I guess it's not a uh, time. Yeah, it's 7 a.m. Well, I can find the place. Theoretically. Lord knows with my sense of direction. I can't believe that somebody with as bad of a sense of direction as I am enjoys Morrowind. Though, in my playthrough of Morrowind, like... Arch's Paradox. This might be it. House for sale. Oh, I guess this is the place. Oh, and it's underneath Lu Luciana Galena's house? Huh. You know, I actually named my uh, character Galena Pitchblend. We can just uh, put that back, though, right? Little lion pelt. You really fucked it up this time. Beep. Okay. I'm really thinking the, uh, the next time I play through Skyrim, I kind of want to do it in VR. VR is, like, awful. We all owe you a debt of gratitude oh. for closing that oblivion gate. The face, the hair, the ears. Let me take a look at this is terrible. Okay, the ancient blades helmet I can fix on my own, thank you. Take your time. Armor, weapons. I have it all. How may I help you? Yeah, I think the next time I, I play uh, Skyrim I want it to be in, in VR. Do these do anything? All right. That's a fair. That's more. Okay. Can I pick up something off of you? Can I pick up like a lock pick or no? Okay. Thank you. Good day. Thank you. Anvil, cool. You know, it just occurred to me, I can just leave that there. I can leave that lion pelt upstairs. I don't need to go back and get it. Who cares? Certainly not me. Break my legs. I need to get some good spike bracelets like that. I actually have a spike bracelet, but it's one with a bunch of little spikes instead of a few big ones. Uh, and I think one of the spikes fell off, unfortunately. I also actually have a bunch of clothing spikes that I can just put on my clothes if I so desire. Gelafor. It's a funny story with that spike bracelet. Uh, my fiancé was not always my fiancé. And during a time when we were... What the? Oh. We could let the Kaijits kill themselves on this guy. I'm fine with that. I'm in character. But I also don't want them to take my XP. Huh. Ten of the morning. Goodbye. Thank you. What the hell was I talking about? Oh yeah, I had the spike bracelet and uh me, my best friend Robert, and the lady who is now my fiance, but at the time we were just best friends. Um, we were like at an anime <sighs> convention and we were like saying goodbye to each other because we had no idea if we would be able to meet back up again. 
and I hug I hug Sarah. And then she doesn't give me the chance to disentangle myself. And and she like immediately quick dashes to go hug Robert because uh, oh. she has ADHD and she's just like that sometimes, especially when it comes to uh, caring for her friends, which is admirable and we should all respect her for. But because she didn't like uh, give me the chance to disentangle myself, she kind of squashed my hand into her boob and like... I, I didn't do anything. I didn't grab her boob. If anything, she boobed my hand. Um, but because I was wearing my big spiky punk bracelet, she also, like, impaled Robert in the chest with the spikes. <laughs> because, like, my hand was in between their chests, and, and it just kind of pierced his ribs. He wasn't bleeding or anything, but he was like, Gah! It was you that closed that oblivion gate, wasn't it? That was a brave thing to do. Yeah. Help me out. Thank you for closing the oblivion gate that was threatening Breville. I will send my guard captain, Viera Laris, to Bruma's aid. I've sent Captain Laris to Bruma. Cool. She is one of my best soldiers. Yes, yes, Count of Breville. Are you a foreigner? Farewell. I don't know what that means, dude. Okay, now what? Breville, Chaden Hall, Chaden Hall, Chaden Hall, Breville, Breville. I guess we need to do all of them. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I like spike races like these. I, th I feel like they basically never go out of fashion, you know? So what's in here, huh? Just occurred to me, but I could do this. Yeah. Take a chance on the warlock's luck. Whatever that means. <laughs> Just kidding. Everything is all perfectly safe. Tested it myself. Ungarian. This guy's face has been like stretched. You may have heard of me. May I interest you in some of my fine spells, ways? huh? That's what I like to hear. All right. Flame touch. I might have this. Yeah, let's grab dispel. Let's grab protect. Remote manipulation, huh? Soul trap, yes. Summon ghost, like that. Starlight. Uh, have a look at my wares. Ring of I transmutation. Big you. magic go up. An ex an ex Bergamot, huh? Pleasure. I don't even know what bergamot is. I let that. Do you sell potions? Well, do you buy potions? No. Pleasure. You're up. Really makes me wish that there was a quicker way to do this. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna train my my potion Pleasure. skills or, or die trying. Yeah, give me two pounds of rat meat, huh? I let. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make that deal with. Okay, getting near to the end, fellas. An All right. Yeah, I bet I'm over encumbered, huh? Let me see here. I have flare.
Farewell. Okay. Let's make some potions. I'm always like, I always feel like I'm going back and forth on this of like, should I show this? Should I care? But then also it's like, I'm, I'm playing this game how I would play it. This is how I would play it. It doesn't matter if it's stupid. It's what I do. Oh, is that all that ectoplasm goes with? I've got so much ectoplasm and nothing to combine it with. This one, please. Thank you. Okay. Fire swords. We got a lot of those. Still, that's all? Damn. I feel like... Like, I love Skyrim, but, like... I have played Skyrim in a lot of ways. And I feel like the best way for me to play Skyrim next is going to be in VR, so I can, like, just see it in a totally different way. I actually... It might be fun to play Skyrim, like, in that, like, demastered version. I think it's a... I think it's just a mod. But it essentially makes it so, like... Skyrim looks about as good as an N64 game. I think that would be interesting. Your stained fingers attest to your diligence in mixing potions and learning their secrets. You're an expert in alchemy. All potion ingredients have four potential effects. You can identif automatically identify all effects. Hell yes. Yeah, now I can combine stuff with ectoplasm. Let's take a look at Daedra Hearts. We got some more of those. More flesh? Yeah, sure. Fire salts. Still nothing. All right. Uh, anything else? Bone meal? Okay. I feel like that's everything. All the other stuff is, is like dummies that don't go with anything. And now we only have to get rid of this, which is pretty simple. Damage my health and drink some poison. Fine by me. All right, I'm feeling lucky. Oh, I guess now would be a good time to drink like a magic potion. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, now that I can summon dudes, I can also like attack things. Like I can I can attack people. I can summon a thing and then start hitting it. Find a really heavy poison, huh? Still no. There we go. All right. Now, what we need is a place to sell potions. Fighter's Guild. I don't feel like doing a whole bunch of quests. That's the thing about the Fighter's Guild in, in Morrowind. I don't know if it's fixed in here, but I kind of feel like they're very grindy and repetitive. You're always getting... And the fact yeah, that you have to do, like, a whole so bunch of them is. over and over again, like... You... It's a little painful, you know? Yes, good. You'll buy my stuff off of me. All right. I don't need this one. I don't really need a brandy. I don't really care about that. I don't really care about damaging a guy's luck. That's a fair deal. Magic will be useful. These fortifies will be useful. These are useful. Maybe that. Maybe. Burden on self? No way. I don't really like using shield potions. A fine transaction. All right. No frost shield. I'll just be cold. 
I don't need help resisting fire. A good price for a good customer. Okay. Uh, I will get rid of this. I will get rid of this too. I'm excellent. I'll get rid of these. Mercantile go up. Hell yeah, finally. Anything else we can burn out of here? No? Cool. Do you have a lockpick for me? Another satisfied cup. Indeed I am. A lot less weight on my back now. Okay, now I guess we're just going to go to another hold. Or prove. What is the term here? Chadenal we were at. Bruma, I think we were at. Choral. We have not been to Choral. Okay. True to Choral we go then, I guess. Okay. Yes. Sorry, I tied that to double check something. Who's this uh, uh, person going to be? I wonder if they'll help me immediately. Hello there. Lady, okay. Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Countess Valga of Coral. Oh, are we not going to do an Oblivion Gate? Chat, but I'm afraid I'm in the middle of an investigation. While I understand, I cannot spare it. Okay. You seem the trusting to it seems someone has taken away an heirloom that is quite dear to me. I want you to help me recover a stolen painting. Let's do this one. The painting was of my lost love, the Count Valga. Oh, wow. And it has been stolen from my bedchamber. Mm. If you find the painting and bring the culprit to justice, you shall be justly rewarded. What say you? Very well. I suggest you begin to gather clues. And I warn you. Do not accuse the wrong person, or I shall be quite cross with you. Okay. Here are some keys. Good luck, investigator. Hello. Countess's bodyguard, huh? Okay. Just want to see if it would proc anything for me. Okay. Let's do a murder mystery then. How are you? Good day, sir, and welcome to Coral. I saw Remalis Briant walk. I saw. Just a guy walking his dogs, huh? Latha. Latha. I'm always amused by the term cupboard. Sounds like cupboard. You know, a board for your cups. Sorry, does that make sense? Okay. Hmm. How can I help? Help me solve this mystery, fool. Organolf. Got some vintages in here. Very nice. How goes it? Go ahead, please. Our countess will know you're saying some cult. <laughs> Goodbye. I love when you talk to people who are like years behind you. Yes. Our no wonder Narina Cavain is so. Hmm. Be seeing you. Hi there. All right. What now? Hello. Hello. Are you searching for something? Chanel? Gather clues. I am sorry. I don't really feel comfortable. Yes. I have heard that the painting of the Count was taken. I am The stolen painting was of Count Valk. He was kind and noble, which is difficult to convey on canvas. Yeah. I'm afraid other than that, I cannot offer much more information. 
until your return. Do I still have my good talking thing on? Hello. I am sorry. Well, what if we sweet talk right. you? Goodness, what can I say? You can't scare me. Oh, that's just the thing. Well done. Oh, do we need to get I'll it to a hundred? Thank you very much. What a fun. See, was that hard? You should be ashamed. Thank you, how kind. Thank you, thank you, how kind. Is that so? Really? Please, I'm embarrassed. You should be ashamed. Maybe I don't understand how this works. That will... Thank you, how kind. That works for me. The night that the painting was stolen. Okay, I yeah, cool, 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 cool. Castle taking star readings. After a while, I decided to go into the dining area just off the great hall. I poured myself some wine and studied the charts I had made until it was time to sleep. From there, I went directly to my chamber and slept the rest of the night. Okay. I'm sure you've heard that Glistel and Melinda's accurate. Okay, back to the night in question. Until your return. Can I get my money back or? Huh. <laughs> Filthy pickpocket! What did you? Pickpocket! 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 Pick... Filthy pick! <gasps> Why you? Yeah, well. Oh, actually, we could try this. What, just looking is a crime in this game? I guess that makes sense. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Feeling good about that. I've been cleaning this place out. I got like a thousand gold um, rock from downstairs. Hmm. Is this supposed to be knocked over? I suspect that it won't be a thing where I need to, like, literally go find the painting in somebody's, like, pocket. And even if that is the case, like, I won't need to go find the, the, the painting in somebody's room or in their quarters. But if that is the case, I'm already suspect, like, suspect of that. It's part of my investigation. Official business, just move along. You never know, it could be relevant. What if all this wheat is important? Wine, gold... Hmm. Let's put my classics back on. What do I look like without this? Yeah. This is weird. Also, um, I noticed that there's a short version of this haircut in uh in Mass Effect. Uh I played Legendary Edition and it might be the only one with it.
Cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know why there's two load doors there. Hmm. Nerevar, Moon, and Star. We're going to stop and read this one. In ancient days, the deep elves and a great host of outlanders from the west came to the land of the Dunmer. In that time, Nerevar was the great Khan and war leader of the house people, but he honored the ancient spirits and the tribal law and became one of us. So Nerevar pledged upon his ring of the ancestors, one clan under moon and star to honor the ways of the spirits and rights of the land. All the tribes joined the house people to fight a great battle at Red Mountain. Though many Dunmer tribesmen and housemen died at Red Mountain, the Dwemer were defeated and their evil, evil magics destroyed, and the Outlanders driven from the land. After this great victory, the power-hungry Kongs of the Great House slew Nerevar in secret, and, setting themselves up as gods, neglected Nerevar's promises to the tribes. But it is said that Nerevar will come again with his ring and cast down the false gods, and by the power of his ring make good his promises to the tribes, to honor the spirits and drive the outsiders from the land. I did some of those things. Me, Alfred did. Okay, if you can get in there, that probably just solves the riddle, right? <laughs> so, you a living statue, or are you going to say something? Hmm. Who do you think you are questioning me? I'm an investigator. Hey, get back here. Oh. Hi. So, the count is high. All right. Oh, that's... Ever, uh, ever. Thank you. Thank you. How kind. Okay, he likes that. That's great. <laughs> uh, how's it go again? That's enough. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Do I need to do all of these or can I back out? You're full of it. Well, that's not bad. The night of the theft, okay. I was in the Great Hall, having an argument with a delivery boy from Braville. That sounds like me, honestly. It seems his horse lost its footing in the heavy rain we had that night, and the shipment of port that it was carrying slipped to the ground. Hmm. Port being All wine. All broke most of the bottles. He didn't want to claim responsibility, but I gave him what for and sent him away. After that, I spent the rest of the night in my quarters, reading. I'm not convinced you know how to read. Okay. We talk about how his name is Orgnal the Hairy Legs. Sorry, I keep bumping this thing with my head. It's a familiar thing for me, I know, but. I need to get out of this building. <laughs> I'm like trapped in here. Hmm. Okay. Hi. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes. So you're the countess. Does that mean anything? Like, do you have any political power or sway or anything? Hmm. I am going to pause the episode here and come back and do more later. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Oblivion. Uh, have a good day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I did. Bye.